After a close encounter with a two metre height limited tunnel in Paris and being routed down some pretty tight roads in the south of France, we check out the top sat-nav apps for trucks, motorhomes and caravans that route you, taking your vehicle size and weight into account. Stick with us while we test out and share which one we would pick. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. Hitting the road in any vehicle, but particularly a larger or heavier one, can be stressful, especially if you are travelling in areas that you don't know, as we regularly are. In the past, we've made regular use of Google Maps to help us get around, and whilst it's been helpful, it's also caused us some problems. Well, forget about getting lost or taking wrong turns, we're about to unveil the top-notch sat-nav apps that will transform your camper van journey into a smooth, stress-free experience. We're going to dive deep into the functionality of these apps, designed specifically for the unique needs of motorhomes, camper vans and larger vehicles. From avoiding low bridges, narrow roads and weight restrictions, to discovering hidden gems off the beaten path. These apps are your ticket to unlock the full potential of your adventures. We'll explore the user-friendly interfaces, live traffic updates and powerful route planning capabilities that these apps bring to the table and we'll break down the features that set them apart, ensuring you have the right tools at your fingertips to create unforgettable memories on the road. The three apps we'll be looking at are TomTom Tom Truck, Copilot Caravan and Magic Earth. We've been trying all three out over a period of months, so let's start by looking at how much they cost. TomTom's truck subscription is either $79.99 a year or $24.99 a month. Copilot's caravan subscription is $25.99 a year and Magic Earth is free. Now let's have a quick overview of how the products look and feel in general use. TomTom is probably the best known sat-nav solution, so let's start with that. The main sat-nav screen is easy to understand with a clear map view and clear information like speed limits, current speed, estimated time of arrival and the distance and time left to travel. I like being able to see all three of these at the same time. For me, having the next direction bar at the top of the screen constantly, even though in this example we are 37 miles from it, it seems a bit of a waste of space. At the end of the road, turn right, day enough sun then. The voice instructions are nice and clear, easy to understand and use text-to-speech to read out road names, even if its attempts at French road names are a bit difficult to follow. On the right hand side is the scale bar to show any traffic holdups and notable upcoming points of interest, for example a parking area in this example. Lane views do pop up, but they are only quite small. Something we did experience quite regularly was that if you put the app into the background, when you switch back to it, it takes a few moments to come back to life and show the current view. This at times was a little frustrating if you wanted to quickly see the next direction. Now let's take a look at Copilot, which has been around for quite a few years. It's a bit less well known, but has a proven track record. This also has a nice, clear and easy to understand layout showing the information you need. Annoyingly, Unlike TomTom, Tom, you can only choose two data items to show. So, for example, I have to pick, do I want the distance left to travel or the amount of time to travel if I also want to show the estimated time of arrival? I can't have all three showing at the same time. In 500 yards, take METS and then merge left on N104 La Francilienne. The voice directions are nice and clear, easy to understand, and also reads out road names and numbers, and does a better job than TomTom, Tom, even if the voice is a bit more robotic. I love the large real view screen to help make sure you're in the right lane, and the full screen view is great for drawing your attention to a change in direction if you drive without the voice prompts on. Again, the scale bar on the right hand side shows traffic conditions coming up and I also like the warnings that pop up for sharp bends and other upcoming hazards. 
Magic Earth is the new kid on the block and the screen design does seem a bit less elegant, but it is easy enough to understand. You don't get any indications for correct lanes or overhead signs to look out for, there's no scale bar for the traffic or hazards, but it does show me all three of estimated time of arrival, length of time to destination and distance to destination. After 700 yards at the roundabout take the second exit, on a 4232. The voice just isn't as refined as the other two and feels a bit 1990s. As you would expect, so that they can route you appropriately, each of the apps lets you enter your vehicle details like height, weight, width, number of axles and top speeds so that they can calculate travelling time accurately. For all the apps you also have personal options you can set to tell the routing engine your preferences. On TomTom Tom, these include selecting the fastest or the shortest route and avoiding ferries, toll roads, unpaved roads, carpool lanes, motorways, tunnels and border crossings. Copilot appear to have the most customizable preferences, including similar to TomTom, Tom, plus adding a practical route option as well as shortest and fastest. Rather than just having toll road use or avoid, it adds avoid where possible. It also accepts your preferences for use of environmental and congestion zones, and something we found particularly useful, and you'll see it in action later in some practical demonstrations, the ability to set your preferences for the specific type of road you like to travel on. Magic Earth has the fewest options of fastest or shortest route and avoiding toll roads, motorways, ferries and unpaved roads. Before we look at searching for locations, whilst all of these solutions work offline, some of the features like live traffic and updating maps for different countries need a data connection. When we're on the road, we connect our phone to our Wi-Fi router with external antennas to keep the best connection. This video is brought to you thanks to our friends at Solwise, who are a UK business that bring the best professional products for mobile internet together in one place. Their technical expertise and support of the products they sell, in our opinion, is second to none, and we've been very lucky to try out a number of products from the likes of Teltonica, Pointing and Q Wireless. You can see reviews of these in our videos. We also love that Songwise very kindly give our viewers 10% discount off their already competitive product range simply by entering Explore Van at the checkout. So if you're looking for a high quality, professional yet affordable mobile internet solution actually designed for the harsh life on the road, please check out solwise.co.uk. Let's see how good each app is at finding a location. We're using one of our favourite campsites at Rudding Park in North Yorkshire. Searching on TomTom Tom gets us the hotel, golf course twice, spa and park estate, but not the campsite. We still get there probably, but not right to the door. Copilot gets us options of golf club, restaurant, conference centre, holiday park, and hotel. So we can pick Holiday Park to get us right to the campsite entrance. Magic Earth only gives us options of hotel or the generic park. Again, I'm sure we'd find the campsite, but it's not superb. We recently stayed at the Camping de Mont Village at Puiguilam, and it was a great place to try out the different sat navs for routing. Let's see how each app routes us from the site to the other side of town. To start with as a benchmark we're going to use Google Maps. Now this doesn't know that we're over three and a half tons so understandably it routes us on the most direct route. But unfortunately Puigui Arms Centre is limited to under three and a half ton only along this stretch of road. So we wouldn't be able to go that way. But you can't blame Google Maps for telling us. Now TomTom Tom does know that we're three and a half ton. And because of that, it doesn't route us down this length of road. It sends us this way. Now, having walked down that road, we know we wouldn't want to really bike down it, never mind take a motorhome down. And that includes me not being able to show you a street view because the Google car hasn't been down it. Let's see how Magic Earth does. Well, that routes us the same way 
although it does suggest an alternative. But its primary route takes us along what we would say was the inappropriate road. Now Copilot sends us down that alternative route. It is a bit longer, but when you see it you will understand why. Not only is it a much better road, it's also the recommended route for over three and a half tonnes, so it would be the sensible option to take. I know this is just one example, but in this case, Copilot for us definitely gave the best route. In the overview, we talked about the driving screen layout, but let's call out a couple of those differences we saw. The information panels in both TomTom and Magic Earth let you show the time and distance to the location as well as the ETA at the same time. Copilot can show all of these, but only two of them at any one time, which is a bit annoying. When it comes to traffic pre-warning, both TomTom and Copilot have a really easy to see scale bar showing the upcoming traffic, and TomTom adds further info like upcoming POIs, which you can select. Magic Earth pops up traffic warnings, which we found hard to understand and didn't give us much warning. TomTom and Magic Earth use quite a bit of screen real estate to show the next direction all the time. Copilot does this much more subtly until you get close to the change of direction when it pops to full screen to give you a clear image of where you need to go. The lane indicator on TomTom is much smaller and easily missed. Magic Earth only shows the map with no information on lane positioning. With more and more vehicles having Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it's worth noting that both TomTom and Magic Earth are compatible with both, whereas Copilot can't be used with either currently. All three apps show the speed limit of the road you are on, or at least what the map thinks it is. However, we noticed that TomTom seemed to correct this speed to the size of vehicle you are in. For example, as our van is over 3.5 tonnes, it corrected the speed limit on the motorway in France to 56 miles per hour or 90 kilometres per hour, rather than Copilot that told us we could do 81 miles an hour or 130 kilometres per hour, as if we were under 3.5 tonnes. Similarly, Magic Earth assumed we could do the 70 miles per hour limit on a UK motorway. The coverage of the maps when it comes to sat-nav can be quite important if you're looking to use it all over. All three options have a wide selection of maps included in the package. TomTom appears to be worldwide. Copilot covers Europe, although the website does say that worldwide are available. And Magic Earth also covers worldwide. Now let's do a quick check that the maps are up to date. So looking at the Carnarvon Bypass, which was opened in February 2022, we can see that all three apps have this showing. And the Point and Relief Road opened in March 2023, not giving Google Maps enough time to update their aerial photos, but it is updated on all three apps. So in conclusion, which do we prefer? Well, taking into account all the areas we've talked about and some, albeit subjective, ranking, Copilot does seem to come out on top. And from our experience of using it, we would agree. None are perfect, but for us it did the best job and for a pretty reasonable price. If you don't want to tie up your phone and would prefer a separate SatNav unit, check out our review of the Oryx SatNav by clicking the link on screen or the one in the video description. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.